we're finally at the venue. We finished um, decorating and setting up the place. And now I need to. S <laughs> now I need to prepare the um, the aisle. Hey, hey, R. Where's the groom? He's over there. To be faithful to him until parted by death. Thank you. <laughs> Jazz, you may share your vows at this time. Christine, today marks a new chapter in our lives. I thank God for guiding me to you. You and our, you and our baby are my greatest blessings. I know he has his plans for us. And, and I know he assigned me to you for these reasons. To give you a hand when you're helpless, to guide you when you're lost. <laughs> Let me start with the cliche of telling how our story started. 10 months ago, I received a Facebook message from a guy <laughs> whom I haven't even met, asking if I was the girl he knew from his church group. I then laughed and said to myself, wow, what a pickup line. <laughs> from that, an, un <laughs> an unexpected friendship started. You weren't much of a creep I thought you were. <laughs> Although it didn't even cross my mind back then that you would be the man I'd be making my vows to. I even remember praying to God that if this man would be the hindrance in my relationship with him, please take him away from me. Um, but God did the opposite. He led you further into my life to make me realize that despite of my past, I still deserve to be loved. I used to think I'd probably end up alone and not be able to marry anyone because I didn't think anyone would be able to accept my past mistakes. But our God is gracious. He showed me that I still deserved to be loved unconditionally that it is not based on what I can do for the person or how on fleek my makeup <laughs> and OOTD is you loved and accepted me a flaws and all 
you, my love, is God's grace to me. Okay. Jasper, I promise to put you and our new family as my priority, apart from God, as the center of our relationship. Today, I promise to laugh with you, cry with you, and be here as you grow in your relationship with God. I promise to support your dreams and be your number one fan. Mm. I will listen to you with compassion and encourage you in achieving your goals. Even though I can promise not to hate you or throw my small tantrums, I promise that in these trying times, I will seek God above anyone else and just continue allowing Him to take leadership of my heart. Today, my love, I give you my heart, my heart that has been made anew by God. And today, I promise to take care of yours and guard it. Together, we will build a God-centered family filled with love, joy, and understanding. As what it says in Songs of Solomon 3, verse 4, I have found the one whom my soul loves. I'm very much excited to start on this um, journey with you and our new blessing. He's my baby, and I love you with all my heart. Thank you. I think we could applaud. <laughs> sharing your vows together and at this time you may exchange your rings so we welcome the ring bearer to come up These rings that you you may hold them. Mm -hmm. The rings that you give to one another now, these special rings, they signify how precious your marriage is. <laughs> and Jazz, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> I got married six yeah. years ago. Oh, oh actually, today's our wedding yeah. anniversary. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Congrats, Jay. <laughs> Precious and us. Oh, she's not here. Hi, Nina. Hi, Nina. Hello. And we have the photo booth here. <laughs> yeah, we have the photo booth. Okay. Um, upstairs, B. There are no photo booth. Ah, anytime. No, until what time? Until what time? Two hours. Until what time? Two hours. Until three thirty though. Okay. Three thirty. Hindi tama ng People. Did you see the setup I made? It's our star here. It's a different Celine. Yeah, this is your your <laughs> corner. Room. Your is this corner. actually our room? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. This is what I made for the presidential table. All right. So they are setting up. Well, the food's already set up. We are just waiting for. The the bride and groom. Ooh, that's huge. Thank you for making it and for carving it. <laughs> Perfect weather for the wedding. It's not, it wasn't hot when we had the ceremony outside, but now the sun's coming out. And it's our sixth wedding anniversary! 
So we're walking back to the reception area and all the groomsmen, they took a shot straight from the bottle. No chase. <laughs> and they're all going <laughs> What are our guesses? Yeah! Boy, girl! Hands up for boys! Hands up for boys! Hands up for girls! Yes. Yay! Or maybe I made it pink and blue. <laughs> wow. All right. So you guys have the knife there. I'm sorry for the times, a lot of times that I've disappointed you. 
I remember like two days before a wedding, I was like crying because um, I'm having um, separation anxiety because as what my brother said, we're really, we're a small family and they're like my best friends. We would talk about like TV shows, tennis series, or like how our day went. And it was like the newest DJ with my dad. So like, <laughs> they're my best friends, and I feel like I thought that I was leaving them, but it's not, not like that. I'm just gaining a whole new family with us. And thank you for all the unconditional love that you provided for me throughout this year. And mom, thank you for making, for helping me with this wedding and just trying to tone me down because you know, my mom would always say um, the reason why I'm getting stressed is because I always want like things that are far beyond that, like what is possible. But she's just trying to always remind me the essence of why we're doing this is not for us to have like a glamorous wedding, but for us to like celebrate our marriage and be one together. Um, so yeah, that's oh, and, sorry, I meant to do it too. You <laughs> Thank you for being with him. He was the only obviously only boy in our group. Um, but I'll pull it through. Um, thank you, and I love you all. That's it. <laughs> we have an uninvited visitor. Wow. Right there. What are those? <laughs> we have a full house. Nabasa pala niya yun, Nina. Pero hindi rin niya nasakyan. Sabi ko pa naman eh. Mom's Filipino Barbecue. BBQ. Barbecue. You're not supposed to eat that on a dress. You're not supposed to eat that. That's the fatty part. You're not supposed to eat that. Hello, Tita. Hello, Ate. Is it good? Filipino moms be like, what's inside your bag? <laughs> What's inside that, my bag? That menudo? <laughs> That's the purpose of having a huge bag. Filipino mom be like. <laughs> menudo. No menudo. Menudo.